In general relativity, the van Stockham dust is an exact solution of the Einstein field equation in which the gravitational field is generated by dust rotating about an axis of cylindrical symmetry. Since the density of the dust is increasing with distance from this axis, the solution is rather artificial, but as one of the simplest known solutions in general relativity, it stands as a pedagogically important example. This solution is named for Willem Jacob van Stockham, who rediscovered it in 1937, independently of an earlier discovery by Cornelius Lanczos in 1924. <laughs> Derivation One way of obtaining this solution is to look for a cylindrically symmetric perfect fluid solution in which the fluid exhibits rigid rotation. That is, we demand that the world lines of the fluid particles form a timelike congruence having non-zero vorticity but vanishing expansion and shear. In fact, since dust particles feel no forces, this will turn out to be a timelike geodesic congruence, but we won't need to assume this in advance. A simple ansatz corresponding to this demand is expressed by the following frame field, which contains two undetermined functions of r displaystyle r e 0 equals t e 1 equals f r z e 2 equals f R R E three equals one R Phi minus H R T display style VEC E underscore zero equals partial underscore T VEC E underscore one equals F R partial underscore Z VEC E underscore two equals F R partial underscore R VEC E underscore three equals F R A C one R partial underscore Phi H R partial underscore T To prevent misunderstanding, we should emphasize that taking the dual coframe Sigma zero equals minus d t plus h r r d phi sigma 1 equals 1 f r d z sigma 2 equals 1 F R D R Sigma three equals R D Phi Display style sigma carrot zero equals D T plus H R R D Phi Sigma carrot one equals F R A C one F R D Z Sigma carrot two equals F R A C one F R Doctor Sigma carrot three equals road Phi gives the metric tensor in terms of the same two undetermined functions G equals minus Sigma zero Sigma zero plus Sigma one Sigma one plus Sigma two Sigma two plus Sigma three Sigma three Display style g equals sigma caret zero o times sigma caret zero plus sigma caret one o times sigma caret one plus sigma caret two o times sigma caret two plus sigma caret three o times sigma caret three. Multiplying out gives d s two equals minus d t two minus Two H R R D T D Phi plus one minus H R two R two D Phi two plus 
d z 2 plus d r 2 f r 2 display style ds caret 2 equals dt caret 2 2 h r r dt d phi plus 1 h r caret 2 r caret 2 d phi caret 2 plus frac dz caret 2 plus dr caret 2 f r caret 2 minus infinity t z infinity 0 r infinity minus pi phi pi display style in a t we compute the Einstein tensor with respect to this frame in terms of the two undetermined functions and demand that the result have the form appropriate for a perfect fluid solution with the time like unit vector e0 display style vec e underscore 0 everywhere tangent to the world line of a fluid particle that is we demand that g m caret n caret equals 8 pi mu diag 1 0 Zero zero plus eight pi p diag zero one 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 Display style g caret hat m hat n equals eight pi mu operator name diag one zero 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 plus eight pi p operator name diag zero one 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 This gives the conditions F equals F two F plus F R H two plus two H H R plus H two R two equals four F R F display style F caret prime prime equals frac F caret prime caret two F plus frac F caret prime R H caret prime caret two plus frac two H caret prime H R plus frac H caret two R caret two equals frac four F caret prime R F solving for F display style f and then for h display style h gives the desired frame defining the van stockham solution e 0 equals t e 1 equals exp a 2 r 2 2 z E two equals EXP a two R two two R E three equals one R phi minus A R T Display style VEC E underscore zero equals partial underscore T VEC E underscore one equals EXP a carrot two R carrot two two partial underscore Z VEC E underscore two equals EXP a carrot two R carrot two two partial underscore R VEC E underscore three equals FRAC one R partial underscore phi R partial underscore T Note that this frame is only defined on R greater than zero display style R greater than zero topic properties computing the Einstein tensor with respect to our frame shows that in fact the pressure vanishes so we have a dust solution the mass density of the dust turns out to be mu equals a two 2 pi exp a 2 r 2 display style mu equals frac a caret 2 2 pi exp a caret 2 r caret 2 happily this is finite on the axis of symmetry r 
equals zero display style r equals zero but the density increases with radius a feature which unfortunately severely limits possible astrophysical applications Solving the Killing equations shows that this spacetime admits a three-dimensional abelian Lie algebra of Killing vector fields, generated by she 1 equals t she 2 equals z she 3 equals phi Display style VEC she underscore one equals partial underscore T VEC she underscore two equals partial underscore Z VEC she underscore three equals partial underscore phi. Here she one display style VEC she underscore one has non zero vorticity, so we have a stationary spacetime invariant under translation along the world lines of the dust particles, and also under translation along the axis of cylindrical symmetry and rotation about that axis. Note that unlike the Gödel dust solution, in the Van Stockham dust the dust particles are rotating about a geometrically distinguished axis. As promised, the expansion and shear of the time like geodesic congruence E 0 Display style vec e underscore zero vanishes, but the vorticity vector is omega equals minus a exp a two r two two e one display style vec omega equals a exp a caret 2 r caret 2 2 vec e underscore 1 this means that even though in our commoving chart the world lines of the dust particles appear as vertical lines in fact they are twisting about one another as the dust particles swirl about the axis of symmetry in other words, if we follow the evolution of a small ball of dust, we find that it rotates about its own axis parallel to r equals zero display style r equals zero but does not shear or expand the latter properties define what we mean by rigid rotation notice that on the axis itself the magnitude of the vorticity vector becomes simply a display style a the tidal tensor is e m caret n caret equals Two exp a two r two diag zero one one display style e underscore hat m hat n equals a caret two exp a caret two r caret two operator name diag zero one one which shows that observers riding on the dust particles experience isotropic tidal tension in the plane of rotation. The magnetogravitic tensor is Bm caret n caret equals minus a 3 exp a 2 r 2 0101000000 display style b underscore hat m hat n equals a caret 3 exp a caret 2 r caret 2 left begin matrix 0 and 1 and 0 1 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 end matrix right topic an apparent paradox consider the thought experiment depicted in the following figure in which the inessential coordinate z display style z has been suppressed this figure depicts a thought experiment in which an observer riding on a dust particle sitting on the axis of symmetry looks out at dust particles with positive radial coordinate does he see them to be rotating or not since the top array of null geodesics is obtained simply by translating upwards the lower array and since the three world lines are all vertical invariant under time translation it might seem that the answer is no However, while the frame given above is an inertial frame, computing the covariant derivatives e 0 e 1 e 0 e 2 e 0 e 3 
Display style nabla underscore VEC E underscore zero VEC E underscore one Nabla underscore VEC E underscore zero VEC E underscore two Nabla underscore VEC E underscore zero VEC E underscore three shows that only the first vanishes identically. In other words, the remaining spatial vectors are spinning about E one Display style VEC E underscore one, i.e. about an axis parallel to the axis of cylindrical symmetry of this spacetime. Thus, to obtain a non-spinning inertial frame, we need to spin up our original frame like this: f zero equals E zero f one equals E one f 2 equals cos theta e 2 plus sin theta e 3 f 3 equals minus sin theta e 2 plus cos theta E three Display style VEC F underscore zero equals VEC E underscore zero VEC F underscore one equals VEC E underscore one VEC F underscore two equals cos theta VEC E underscore two plus sin theta VEC E underscore three VEC F underscore three equals sin theta VEC E underscore two plus cos theta VEC E underscore three where theta equals t q r display style theta equals t q r where q is a new undetermined function of r plugging in the requirement that the covariant derivatives vanish we obtain theta equals a t exp a 2 r 2 2 display style theta equals a t exp a caret 2 r caret 2 2 the new frame appears in our comoving coordinate chart to be spinning but in fact it is gyrostabilized in particular since our observer with the green world line in the figure is presumably riding a non-spinning dust particle otherwise spin spin forces would be apparent in the dynamics of the dust he in fact observes nearby radially separated dust particles to be rotating clockwise about his location with angular velocity a this explains the physical meaning of the parameter which we found in our earlier derivation of the first frame Pedantic note, alert readers will have noticed that we ignored the fact that neither of our frame fields is well defined on the axis. However, we can define a frame for an on-axis observer by an appropriate one-sided limit, this gives a discontinuous frame field, but we only need to define a frame along the world line of our on-axis observer in order to pursue the thought experiment considered in this section. It is worth remarking that the null geodesics spiral inwards in the above figure. This means that our on-axis observer sees the other dust particles at time-lagged locations, which is of course just what we would expect. The fact that the null geodesics appear bent in this chart is of course an artifact of our choice of comoving coordinates in which the world lines of the dust particles appear as vertical coordinate lines. Topic. A genuine paradox Let us draw the light cones for some typical events in the Van Stockham dust, to see how their appearance in our comoving cylindrical chart depends on the radial coordinate. As the figure shows, at r equals a minus 1 display style r equals a caret minus 1 the cones become tangent to the coordinate plane t equals t Zero. Display style t equals t underscore zero, and we obtain a closed null curve, the red circle. Note that this is not a null geodesic. As we move further outward, we can see that horizontal circles with larger radii are closed time-like curves. 
The paradoxical nature of these CTCs was apparently first pointed out by Van Stockham. Observers whose world lines form a closed timelike curve can apparently revisit or affect their own past. Even worse, there is apparently nothing to prevent such an observer from deciding, on his third lifetime, say, to stop accelerating, which would give him multiple biographies. These closed timelike curves are not timelike geodesics, so these paradoxical observers must accelerate to experience these effects. Indeed, as we would expect, the required acceleration diverges as these timelike circles approach the null circles lying in the critical cylinder. R equals a minus one. Display style R equals a caret minus one. Closed timelike curves turn out to exist in many other exact solutions in general relativity, and their common appearance is one of the most troubling theoretical objections to this theory. However, very few physicists refuse to use general relativity at all on the basis of such objections, rather most take the pragmatic attitude that using general relativity makes sense whenever one can get away with it, because of the relative simplicity and well-established reliability of this theory in many astrophysical situations. This is not unlike the fact that many physicists use Newtonian mechanics every day, even though they are well aware that Galilean kinematics has been overthrown by relativistic kinematics. Topic. See also Dust solution Gödel dust solution Topic. References, <references>